All right, what I have here is an electroscope. Um, th they don't work very well, so I have one here that actually works well. And so I'm just going to demonstrate for you some things about it, okay? Um, it's a piece of metal up here, and it will, if you put a charge on this plate up here, it will carry that down to this. I've got a little thing here, I'll take it off, um, and this will swing. Okay, so the charge will go onto this, and that way this little thing will have the same charge and it will repel. So basically all this does is if they have the same charge, if that little needle thing has the same charge as this, then it'll it'll twist, which it always will have the same charge. So basically this is just showing you if there's a charge or not. Um, if there's a lot of charge, it'll bend more. Just a little bit of charge, it won't bend as much, okay? So let me just show you. So first I'm going to take a rubber rod and fur. I'm going to rub them. Then I'm going to touch that with there, and you can see that the needle deflected. So that deflected needle shows that there's a charge, okay? Now I'm going to ground this with my finger, and I touch this, and you can see that the needle went back. Um, and so the charge went out my finger and into the ground, and now this is neutral. Um, before, the charge, the rubber rod had a negative charge. Rubber rods always have a negative charge, which meant that the fur got a positive charge. And I touched that negative charge to this, and the electrons left the rod, went into here, ran down to the needle. Okay? Now I'm going to use um, a, a plastic rod with silk. Um, this gives, the, when I rub these together, the glass, the plastic rod, excuse me, or glass, glass or plastic, this one happens to be plastic, will get a positive charge, which of course means that the silk must have gotten a, a negative charge. The silk ripped electrons off of the rod. So I'm going to rub this together, and again I'm going to touch, and nothing happened. Let me try that again. There you go. So you can see the needle deflected. Now one thing you might notice is that I had a little more trouble and the needle didn't deflect as much. Um, that is typical. The, the uh, plastic rod just never seems to work as well. Okay. Now if the needle is deflected and I bring this close but don't touch, do you see it deflects more? Okay. So I'm not touching, I'm just bringing the needle close but not touching, and hopefully you can see that the needle deflects more when I bring it near. What's happening is, okay, at, when I touched this, I gave the whole thing a positive charge. When I bring this positive rod near, the electrons, what few there are left, are going to leave the needle and run up here to be close to this. Okay, let me neutralize it, okay? And that will draw electrons out, making that even more positive, making that deflect even more. Let me show you the reverse of that. Rubber rod. I'm going to rub the rubber rod with fur. I'm going to charge this. Okay. Now the electrons left the rubber rod and went down into here. So this whole thing is negatively charged right now. now I'm going to take the rubber rod and it's again it's ne negatively charged and I'm going to bring it near when I bring it near, see the negative rod, the rod is negative, and the, what, the extra electrons that you have are going to run away from it, and they're going to run down into the needle, and you can see the needle deflects more when I have the rubber rod near. So the, elect the electrons are going to run down, they're making this even more negative um, because of the rubber rod. Okay, now this is negative again, okay, so there's a bunch of extra electrons here. And if I bring a positive rod near, those extra electrons ought to run up to be near this. I'm going to bring the rod near and not touch. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to bring it near. But still, those electrons down here, um, because I just touched this with the rubber rod, so this is negative, the electrons should run up to be close to this. And let's show you what happens. You can see that the needle becomes less deflected when I bring this near. Okay, so we have a way of figuring out what the charge is on here. If I bring the oppositely charged rod, then the needle is deflected less. If I bring a rod with the same charge, the needle is deflected more. 
So let's say we have a charge on this. I'm going to neutralize it. Let's say we have a charge on this and we don't know what that charge is. I can figure it out by bringing both rods near. The one that makes it deflect more should have the same charge, and the one that makes it deflect less should have the opposite charge. Okay? So now I'm going to do something called um, uh, charging by induction and grounding. I'm going to bring this rubber rod. I'm going to charge this up. I'm going to bring it near. I'm not going to touch it. It's neutral right now. So I'm going to bring this near. And what that's going to happen is all the electrons are going to run out of here and they're going to run down here to get away from the rod, leaving this positive. And that's going to be negative. So we kind of have a split charge. Pos uh, negative down here, positive up here. Then I'm going to touch this with my finger. I'm going to take my finger and my finger will ground the bottom of this, which means that the top will be positive and the bottom, which used to be negative, will now be neutral. Okay? Then I'm going to take my finger away and then I'm going to take the rod away. And what you should see is you should see when I touch it with my finger, the needle will become undeflected. And then when I take my finger and the rod away, it'll deflect again. What happened is that the whole thing was left positive. Um, let me do it and let me just talk you through it again. So here is my rod. I bring it near. Oh, you know what? I heard a snap. When, it, when you hear a snap, that means the charge actually jumped through the air. And so I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to bring the rod near. I'm going to neutralize the bottom. Okay? Um, so the rubber rod drove electrons away from it down into here. Now I just made this neutral and I'm going to pull this away. So I made the bottom neutral, but the top was still positive. And then when I took my finger away, and you have to take your finger away first, I take my finger away, then the rod away, and the whole thing is left positive because I neutralized the bottom, but the top was still positive. So now the whole thing is positive. The reason why you have to take your finger away first, because if you take the rod away first, you'll there's no reason for the positive charge to stay up there and the whole thing will become neutralized. Okay, so now let's figure out what this charge is. Okay, we think it should be positive, but let's prove it. If I take a rubber rod, a negative rod, it should make it deflect less. Remember we said that if it's the same charge, it should deflect less. And if it's the opposite charge, so I've got my glass rod, my plastic rod, the same charge should make it deflect more. And you see that the positive rod makes it deflect more, the negative rod makes it deflect less. Okay, so this is induction and grounding. And when you do this, you leave this with the opposite charge of the rod. Remember, you'll go back in the video. I use a rubber rod to do this. Rubber rods are negative, and now we have just shown that this is positive. So induction and grounding gives you the opposite charge, whereas if I were to just touch this with the rubber rod, I would give it a negative charge. So with a rubber rod, I can give this either charge. With the glass rod, I can give this either charge, just depending on how you do it.